Hey YouTube, uh, here's another iPhone RPG update. This is uh, Alpha 6 build of this. So we Alpha 6. Today's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> July 11th, I think. So uh, what I've been working on in the last two or three days has been mostly menus. So let me go ahead and bring the avatar over into the city. So you can see what I've been doing. And let's move them up over up over here. So, I've made the most headway in the main pause menu. So let's take a look at this. So I don't think I've shown this before. I think in pictures I've shown it, but on video. Uh, here's the three character slots, all their stats. Uh, name, level, uh, hit points, magic points, and XP. And if you press on one of those will bring you to their status screen. Uh, and all these below here are buttons. I haven't uh, activated them yet, but if you want to change the weapon, you just click on weapon and it'll bring you to the equipment screen for that. Uh, this you'll also be able to uh, change the rotation speed and zoom in and out by pushing like that. And quick restore will bring you to a uh, uh, I'm still working out exactly how to fit this into design, but uh, it's either going to automatically restore your uh, health and MP uh, automatically for you using a combination of magic or items, or it's going to uh, bring you to a quick heal screen. I'm not sure which yet. Uh, and then there's all your stats, which will be changed by your equipment and by leveling. Uh, let's see here. So you can see Catterday is at about... Uh, one-third health so obviously they need to uh, get some healing done so here's the item screen I made uh, this is I thought long and hard about how to do this and this is the the best way that I could think of to do it uh, with the touch screen so you have eight different items here and you have different pages you can go through uh, this still isn't quite working right but it's pretty much how it's gonna look so you just select the item that you want to use and then it'll show the, the item name, the description, and the quantity of the item. So if you click on that, it'll bring you to the use item screen. So we see that this restores 50 hit points to whoever I choose, and Catterday needs it the most, obviously. So I just touch Catterday, and it gave him 50 health. Do it again, 50 more health. Uh, I'll save that one potion just to show you what happens a little bit later on. So let's return. You can see it updated here, quantity one, quantity one. Uh, if it's, uh, quantity goes to zero, the item will just disappear off the list and it'll shift all the other ones forward one spot. Uh, I haven't really put anything else in any of these other uh, menus yet. Down here is your, uh, the amount of money that you have and this will show the, uh, the proper name of the, uh, the level that you're in or currently came from. So if I hit return, It'll bring us back to where we were. So now let's go in here. This used to be empty before, but now there's an NPC there. And if I hit the interact button, which is a kind of messed up dialog bubble, if I hit that, a dialog box will come up. Uh, I'm gonna make my own font for this, so it, it will definitely be a lot bigger than that. And it won't be a, a black opaque box. It's gonna be semi-transparent, so you can still see through it. So if you click it again, it'll go forwards one dialogue uh, line, click it again. See, it's gonna be kinda like that, but it's hard to see. Uh, and then you can have the, uh, the yes or no choices, which will branch off which uh, dialogue path you go through. So it's say, no, this isn't working properly, and it calls you a liar. So that's pretty much how that's gonna work. And then same thing for items. So if you remember the awesome chest right here, now, if you interact with it, it'll say, good job, you picked up three uh, healing potions. And then you can mash on that all day. You won't pick up more than three, and the animation won't play again. So let's go into the menu here. I had one small healing potion before. Now I should have four. Let's see if it did it. Yep, quantity four. That's correct. Here's an, a weird bug, though. If I go in here and I give Catterday the... Uh, another potion it says he's at 220 so 220 plus 50 is 270 right I use a potion on him 270 alright 270 plus 50 
is uh, 320. So one more potion here, it puts them up to 360. So I don't know what's causing that, I'm going to have to debug that later. But uh, other than that, everything is working just as it should. Uh, more stuff I'm going to do a bit later is uh, a battle system. But also in this video, just want to show you real briefly that this is working on uh, older equipment. Because this is running on a iPhone 3GS. Here, let me zoom this out a bit. The top one's a 3GS. This is a second generation iPod Touch. And just to show you that this does actually work, it's a slower, get this hair out of here, it's slower frame rate, but it's still the same game. It's the same thing. So I can essentially just uh, release this for all devices and it will work. Not as well, but it will work. So I think that's going to be it for this update. Uh, expect another one in probably two days, and I'm always posting a picture update, if it's not video, on uh, my various blogs and on Twitter. So see you then.